Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a parallax effect to your videos using Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I create videos about filming, editing, DIY projects around my house. And if I go someplace cool, sometimes I vlog. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to add a parallax effect to your videos. So what is a parallax effect you ask? Parallax effect. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Parallax is a displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. So in other words, it's a really wicked effect that everybody asks you how you did it. So on the weekend, I released a video of my trip to Kelowna and I used this parallax effect in the video and everybody was shooting me messages and saying, hey man, how did you get that effect? So today I'm gonna show you how you can get that same parallax effect using footage that you already have on your hard drives. So here we are at our welcome screen for Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. Don't worry, this tutorial will work with previous versions of Adobe Premiere Elements as well. You want to click on your video editor to open up the editor workspace. Once the workspace is opened up, you want to go to the top left hand corner, click on File, New, Project. Shortcut for that is Control N. I'm going to rename our project Drone Parallax and click on the Change Settings. We want to work with the 24p timeline. We're going to click on the DSLR folder, 1080p folder, and then click on 1080p 24 frame. Once that's done, check this box here to force the selection on our project and click OK. Now it's time to add some media. So let's talk about the type of footage that you need to create a parallax effect with your videos. You're going to want to search for footage that is super smooth and that keeps the frame in at all times and moves in a backwards motion that pulls away. So if you are zoomed in on a building and you pull away from that building, that's exactly the type of clip that you're going to need to produce this effect in the best way possible. Now I'm going to show you in the clip that I have here, I'm using some drone footage and I'm actually flying forward. I'll show you how to reverse that video so that it actually pulls backward so that we can use it to create a parallax effect. So let's get started. Okay, now that you've found the media that you want to work with, we need to add it into our project. You're going to go to the top left corner, click on Add Media, Files or Folders, choose the media that you want to add to the project. Once the media is added, you will see it's under the Project Assets tab. Click on your clip and drag it to the timeline. We're going to zoom in on our timeline a little bit here. So this is a clip that we've selected, and if I play it for you here, you can see it's actually going the wrong way. As I said previously, you want your clip to zoom out or pull away. So we're going to correct that quite simply. In Adobe Premiere Elements, you're going to right click on your clip, go to the menu that says Clip, and then over to Time Stretch. Now we want to click on Reverse Speed and click OK. Settings of the drone here had the resolution a little bit different and we want to fit it to a 16.9 so I'm just going to stretch that out and now I'm going to hit render. So we'll let this render through and then I'll show you the completed clip. And that looks like the perfect clip to work with. So now we're going to add the parallax effect. You go to the right hand side of your screen to your tools and you want to click on pan and zoom. A new screen is going to pop up and it's going to give you two frames labeled one and two. 
This is perfect ratio right here. It's about 50%. So what's gonna happen is frame one is gonna zoom into frame two. So as we're, as the drone is backing up, it's actually going to be zooming in and that's what's gonna give us a parallax effect. So I just wanna make some adjustments here to frame one because you can see the black border on the bottom. And I don't want that. So I'm just gonna shrink that up a little bit there. Shrink that up a little bit there. And frame two is perfect. So I'm just gonna drag this over so you can see that 10 seconds there. That's using the entire frame from beginning to end to zoom in. So it'll be a 10 second zoom. That should work perfectly for our purposes. So we are going to click done and render. And there you have a parallax effect. So you can see the background is actually being pulled forward as we're zooming out. And that's what gives you that parallax weird effect to the film. So now you wanna export your clip. You're going to click in the top right hand corner on export and share. Click on devices. Use HD 1080p. Our settings are H.264 which is an excellent setting, decent bit rate. We wanna crank that up a little bit to high. Now we have a 32 bit rate, so this is a much better file. So we're gonna save it as an MP4 H.264 file on high to give us a higher bit rate. File name drone parallax, that's perfect, hit save. So here is a look at our completed drone parallax using Adobe Premiere Elements. It looks pretty good, but it could use some color grading. That's definitely for another video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching today. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button below. Subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. And until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope your day was full of awesomeness.